Welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and this is a single mom unguided life where I try to navigate through finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between. And I bring you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable. This is my February budget setup. Okay, so we're going to get right into it because there's a lot of things to discuss, a lot of moving parts, and we just don't want this to be long. First and foremost, this is the Gooseby Twin Undated Planner. I have some pros and cons from using it for my first full month, and the pro is that the contents of it is good the layout is perfect for me and it's you it's adjustable the con is this cover this interchangeable cover is like always falling off of this because these little clear pieces i don't really know tabs i want to call them they're too thin for what i think this should do like this part is thick but this is very thin so you have to be very, very careful when you open and close it. I did try to reach out to the company to see if there was just a defect or, you know, if there's a possibility of like a recommendation of a different type of cover from the company, but the email was kicked back. So I will possibly be looking for another cover from another company to see if it works better with this planner. So let's go ahead and we're going to find our February tab and as always, I look at the quote of the month, and this one's from the late Ruth Ginsburg. I would like to be remembered as someone who used whatever talent she had to do her work to the very best of her ability. Okay? Use your talents this month, D, because you got a lot of catching up to do. As stated, this is an undated planner, so in order to get this filled out, we are going to be doing a couple things. So first, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be doing. As you can see from the last month's setup is that I start incorporating stickers. I'm currently part of Jennifer, Jennifer Bleacher of Life and Envelopes PR Friends program, and Everything that you see sticker-wise will come from her shop. And in the description, you will find a discount code for being a viewer of mine. Also, she releases stickers every Friday. And then for the first three days, there's a percentage off. And then for like being a viewer of YouTube, there's also additional percentage off. So you get discounts on top of discounts on top of discounts. Um, her shop is geared towards EC planners, plum paper, and the budget mom. And so when I first set up to like the June, not the June, the January budget, I look for like the EC because this is a 7 by 9 planner. But all 7 by 9 planners are not treated equally. <laughs> And what I mean by that is that because of the layout, it changes certain things. So though I was able to tweak the EC 7x9 stickers, it just I still wanted to see what else was out there for me within her shop to work with. So after reaching out to her to try to figure out what exactly can be used, um, she asked, you know, went ahead and asked for a sample and provided me with a sample based on this. Now, Jennifer, she told, she had let me do the measurements. And to be quite honest, I made the mistake of measuring this block here and then writing down the number. Then realizing I had did that mistake, I went back here and started measuring here and showing pictures. But when I sent her over the paper, it had the wrong measurements. So, I did take a peek at what I purchased for February, and this right here, this little ghost box is actually smaller, but we're going to tweak it. Um, these are the two headings, the date dots, the days of the week, and these are the little functional boxes you can put the days of the weeks in, and then she additionally had um, added these paydays, which is awesome, okay? Um, she had made, for some reason, a 
additional one. So if I mess up, guess what? I got two. <laughs> so we're going to set this to the side so that could be handy. Um, also, what I picked up from her shop, and when you order from her, you first will get a sampler page, and it has these the different things that you can put in for your weekly planner, date dots, days of the week, little peoples. So we have that, and that's awesome. I did pick up the functional boxes, 7x9. These work great for my weekly layout, and this is the um, Pretty Peonies. I'm just going to set that to the side. Then I did the functional of the Pattern of Love, 7x9. And then I picked up three of the full box kits of the Pretty Peonies as well. I love this pattern. This, and I love this. Her patterns, one, can be used for any month. Two, she incorporated her family in her patterns as well. So I love this layout here. Um... It just reminds me of love, romance, even Italy. <laughs> so we're going to put that to the side. Because it is the love month, I went ahead and picked up two of the love full box kits as well. And so that's what we're going to be using on a weekly basis. Um, I did receive, did purchase smaller months. This is the 36.5. font. Um, as you know from last month, the extra large was extra large, so we won't be using that in our planner. Hopefully this will work out. And then I did receive an additional freebie of the sinking fund, so I'll see exactly how to incorporate this in my planning because that's how I am. If it's free, I am going to use it to the best of my ability. So we're going to go ahead and place this item to the side. And of course, this part here will be fast forwarded because... Who likes to see us putting this stuff on, you know, each time? Before beginning, just to let you know, my February budget runs from January 29th to February 25th. <laughs> So we had one hiccup. I did put it on upside down and it's like I got this a little bit crooked too. Let's see if I get this corrected. Okay. That should be good. Okay. So we got that going on. And let's talk about, I have these little boxes here. I think when you put that, that hides that. Um, I really like these a little bit better because they're bigger. Like I did for January. I just set them on top of it. And work fine. So I think I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm not gonna put them inside of the. Inside of here. Inside of the actual boxes and sales. I'm just gonna put it right here on top. We have that set there. Now remember, I told you that. This was smaller, and let me show you what I mean. If it wants to come off, come off here. All right, so it's a little bit smaller. Oops. So, I think I'm gonna turn it to the side. done filling it out and let's say so I'm gonna talk about a couple things one I'm gonna get this out the way oh no I have to put um 
I can go ahead and put these little stickers here. So I have a payday here. So they hit that. And then the next payday will be on the 12th. So we can go ahead and put it here. So we have these two paydays for that. Additionally, um, so our first bill will be rent and it'll be on the first. Our payers plan is $100.99. Our internet on $64.99 is on the 6th. Streaming is $14.93. We have life insurance $38.54 and electric $105. Now, credit card number one is $294.15. It's what I charge. The total is actually $296.76. And because that includes the $2.61 of the insurance what i decided to do with the uh, insurance is actually use my statement credit to pay the insurance portion of the bill itself but we'll see how that flows storage is seven dollars and 46 cent on the 13th we have water bill which is 79 dollars, so it's more than what it has been the last six months it's more than what i was estimating and we'll talk about what i'm going to do about that cable was ten dollars and 91 cent i believe there was a increase in one of the charges like the state taxes or the usage charge or something so now it's 1091 the phone bill i have not received notification i won't receive notification until the 29th of the month um but what i did is use the date and the amount from last month to place here. Um, if it changes, I'll just update that elsewhere. My insurance, this is the auto renters and a valuable personal property. And I have not received notification about this. The rep said it was due on the 17th. They just couldn't see how much it was. So I'm just using the amount from last time and the date that they gave. But I'm going to tell you, they're not always right about their guesstimation of the days. But if, if it floats their boat, okay. Um, OnStar is actually $24.99. It's not including taxes i'm not really sure i asked the rep was taxes included she said yes but when it hit my credit card for my january budget that was the only thing that was taken out so going forward that's what i'm going to budget the card note is due on to um uh, the 22nd is 280 dollars and 14 cent additionally there is another bill that is due but it falls outside of my budget itself it's going to be due on the 27th of february which is my credit card number one so what i'm going to do here is just put um i'm gonna take a little sticker from let's see i can take it from here i think because i used the other ones i'm gonna take a little sticker from here and i'm gonna place here and then i'm going to put credit card number two and that's going to be thirty dollars and seventy one cent okay so additionally other things that we do with our budget is we give so let's start with um giving and this is going to be giving and the total will be three thirty four forty one I hope y'all can see that okay because the print does take over it but we'll see um and then the next few things we have is we have our miscellaneous and you know what i'm actually going to use these rest of these stickers here because i can't see that and i'm not going to believe that you can see that so 334 41 and I'm going to sit that right over here. And then we have, I have two airline tickets that I had to purchase to travel for my aunt's funeral. So I am going to place that over here as well as miscellaneous. So I know when I'm budgeting, 
these two items need to be reflected as well. So I'm just going to put them here. I don't really put anything other than about my bills here anyway. So it doesn't, to me, I don't have a problem putting it over that. So, yep, that's what we got going. So those is what we have currently at this time is how my monthly layout looks. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to be part of my village. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. To all my returning subscribers, thank you. Everyone hit that like button. And please share with your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Peace.